everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how you can set up a Bitmoji in Google Slides so that you can print it out on multiple pages and make your design really large. So what I've already done is use the Bitmoji extension on a Chrome browser to find the image of the Bitmoji that I want. I right clicked it and I saved the image onto my computer. Then I opened up Google Slides and I made a page setup to custom 11 by 8.5. So it's printing out in the landscape mode. Then I'm going to take the Bitmoji and bring it into my Google Slide and notice that it's really small. So when I'm looking at this picture of the Bitmoji, I really am only interested in the left side where it's holding all the pencils and the paintbrushes. And I'm not really interested in the other side that's got the notebook, so I'm not going to save that part in my image. There we go. So if I double click on the Bitmoji, I'm able to crop it down. Oops, that wasn't cropped. Like that, there we go. Able to crop it so get it nice and close. And then I'm going to zoom out just a little bit. Whoa. There we go. Now I don't want to just leave it like this because what I wanted to do is be able to print and fill up multiple pages and then I'm able to tape them together. So I'm going to zoom out a little bit more and I'm going to stretch out the Bitmoji until it goes across the page like this. Now notice that in the preview on the left it's just showing you know this little bit of the art supplies and then the, the top of the head. So what I'm going to do is click on the slide and duplicate the slide. Then I'm going to click on the artwork, the Bitmoji, and I'm going to just slide it up. And when I look at the preview, I'm able to tell where there's going to be a little bit of an overlap. Depending on how big your Bitmoji is, you should be able to just go like this. So now I have one slide that's just the head and the art supplies on the left and then the bottom. So I have these two slides. And then what I can do is file, download, current slide, JPEG. So I'm going to save both of these, file, download, JPEG of a current slide. That way I have just this one picture on its own, and then I have, whoop, just this picture on its own. So then when I go to print, I'll choose file, print, See, there's this difference here between these two settings. You want to make sure that you're printing the entire image because you want to have some space to cut off and areas where the pages are going to overlap so that there's no gap. So I'll click print. And then I'll do the same with this one. I'll do file, print. And I want to make sure that it's on print entire image. And then I click print. And that's it. 